Hello, my name is Ben Young. I am a PhD candidate in the lab of Dr. Paul Fidel at the University of Texas at Arlington. Generally, it is well known that the prevalence of hypertension in non-Hispanic black individuals far exceeds that of any other racial group. However, the underlying factors remain incompletely understood. So, related to the present study, there is growing interest in measuring beat-to-beat -beat blood pressure variability because studies generally suggest that this type of variability provides prognostic information beyond that of other forms like 24-hour blood pressure monitoring or home-based monitoring. Based on the higher incidence of hypertension in black individuals, we hypothesized that young, non-Hispanic black men would exhibit an augmented beat-to-beat -beat blood pressure variability compared to their white counterparts. Interestingly, we found augmented beat-to-beat -beat blood pressure variability when quantified using all of our traditional measures of variability, like standard deviation, coefficient of variation, or range, compared to the white men. This occurred despite similar mean blood pressures between the groups. But none of these measures provide insight into where within the distribution that that variability actually occurs, so we also applied a novel histogram methodology to quantify the distribution of blood pressure in our groups. What was interesting was that the black men exhibited a greater number of cardiac cycles on not only the high end, but also the low end of their blood pressure distribution, which we took to suggest that the black men may be experiencing larger swings in blood pressure. We were also interested in whether this variability might be a vascular or a cardiac effect so we quantified distributions of total peripheral resistance and cardiac output as well. In this case, the blood pressure variability was related to greater variability in vascular resistance rather than cardiac output in the black men. Beyond those data, we also calculated spontaneous measures of baroreflex sensitivity and related them to our indices of blood pressure variability. Interestingly, we found a reduced sympathetic baroreflex sensitivity in the black men and it was related to the blood pressure variability, such that those with the lowest baroreflex sensitivity had the highest blood pressure variability. So in conclusion, we found an augmented beat to beat blood pressure variability in young, healthy black men, which coincided with fluctuations in vascular resistance and reduced sympathetic baroreflex sensitivity.